What is up everybody and welcome back to the Get Your Beach Body Today, the GYBBT series. We are in the second episode and today I'm basically just going to be showing you guys a quick video on stuff to have in your house to make dieting life much easier and taste a hell of a lot better. Okay guys and welcome to the kitchen. Very messy right now, I need to clean it up. But some of the things you can incorporate into your diet to make it a lot better and a lot better tasting. First thing you're going to need, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, okay? You could do vanilla, you could do chocolate, strawberry. This is just uh, the regular unsweetened from Costco, I believe, the Kirkland version. If you get Blue Diamond, I believe they have chocolate flavors and strawberry flavors, but you want to make sure it is unsweetened to put in your cereals. If you try to drink it straight up out of a glass, you're going to hate the way it tastes. It's disgusting, but in cereal, it's really not that bad. Second thing, ground cinnamon, okay? Putting this in your cream of rice and putting this in your oats is going to taste, make it taste a hundred times better. Add that with a little bit of vanilla extract and you are good to go. The next thing you're gonna want is some of this stuff. Right here. This is called trivia. I don't know, basically it's stevia. A stevia, an equal, or a splenda. Three of those sweeteners, very good sweeteners. Again, you can throw it in the oatmeal, you can throw it in your cereals. That's gonna make everything taste a lot sweeter and it's zero calorie. It is definitely your friend when you're craving that sugar and it's going to make everything taste a hell of a lot better. All right, so the next thing you're gonna want, as basic as it sounds, is grilled chicken seasoning, okay? You can get it at Stop and Shop. It's very basic, but it's actually really good on grilled chicken. You mix that with a little bit of some of this, some onion powder, Fantastic grilled chicken, and of course, every time you cook that, I always throw a little bit of this on top, some lemon juice, squirt the lemon juice, and throw those two seasonings on top. Makes fantastic grilled chicken. Next thing, another sweetener that you might want to add is if you're really, really craving some sugar, you want some fruit punch, something like that. This is like just a variety pack of, you know, this is a half and half iced tea lemonade. They have, uh, iced tea flavors on here, any type of sugar and calorie free uh, water flavoring type deal. You can get crystal light, all that type of stuff. I actually got from Stop and Shop a thing called raspberry lemonade and it was fantastic. I just keep it around the house in case I'm having some crazy sugar cravings. I throw that in a little bit of water and we are good to go. Another thing for the meats that you might want, I found this and it's a gem. Frank's Red Hot. If you're a hot sauce guy, it's uh, this is actually buffalo wing sauce, and it's fantastic. It's got zero calories, zero nothing in it, but it does have a lot of sodium in it. Okay, so if you're someone who has you know high blood pressure, definitely watch that if you're gonna have it, have it not too often in small amounts, because it does have 460 milligrams of sodium per serving, and that is something you are absolutely gonna want to watch. And also picked up some Frank's Red Hot Original. Okay, so if you're someone who likes spicy, definitely go with that. It's going to be a lifesaver for you. And the last thing we have on this list is just basic mustard. You can get classic, you can get spicy, whatever floats your boat, you know, that's up to you. Very good, it's zero calorie, and if you want to just throw it on a little bit of meat or anything like that, it's a lot better than having it plain. I know a lot of people aren't mustard people really out there, but ketchup does have sugar in it, this does not. So if here and there you want to throw it on a little bit of meat or something on the side, it's a very good, little bit something, you know, flavorful to change it up instead of just having plain dry meat. So guys, that is it for this edition of Get Your Beach Body Today, GYBBT. This is the second episode and on Saturday I'm going to be switching up your diets and basically changing the amounts of what you're eating and changing your cardio. I am not, however, going to change the foods that you are eating. Everything that I put in that list you can have throughout this entire 10 week diet. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to stay tuned for the next video on Saturday. Again, that's gonna be very important because I'm changing up the diet. Stay tuned guys, subscribe, Strong Island Fitness.